Yo, 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 what's going on uh, YouTube? This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals. Um, so what I'm finally going to be doing today is the long-awaited uh, dump, what is this, roll-off trailer review of my Lone Star uh, 2021 uh, dumpster roll-off uh, trailer from Lone Star. So, um, anyways, it's a 2021 dumpster roll-off made by Lone Star Trailers. It's a gooseneck. So I've got, uh, let me show you, let me... So there's your gooseneck. The trailer is rated at 14,000 pounds. The trailer itself weighs, I believe, about right around 2,000. Here we've got the toolbox. I'll show you that in a second. Um, you've got the spring action drop legs. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. Uh, obviously, it's not hydraulic. I wish it was. Uh, you got my awesome coffee cup there. Uh, it's got a super winch. Uh, Talon Series 18.0. I don't really know um, how much or what it's rated at, but it's a pretty powerful winch so far. I do get the cable uh, kind of stuck every now and then. It's kind of annoying. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go over the good things. I'm going to go over some of the bad things, and then I'm going to go over some of the uh, actual additional stuff that I've uh, added to it so far. So, anyways, again, the good thing is going to be the drop leg got some awesome safety winches over here or safety cables uh, with the emergency brake the bra emergency brake line um, comes with a spare tire they didn't charge me extra for a spare tire like most places do I do like the, uh, the toolbox although I mean I think all of the gooseneck uh, roll-offs have a toolbox like this here um, so I'm gonna go over uh, it did come with two struts one right here one right here on the inside uh, I was missing this one and I only had one so I wasn't holding it up properly um, So Jacob kind of told me hey best bet is just to remove them a lot of guys anyways like it to open all the way Like this does right here so that I could put the hook Over the edge on the bar right there and it holds my door all the way open unlike uh, Unlike with the struts it would only open it up probably at a smaller angle So you wouldn't be able to access or go all the way in like we are right now so let's start over here. It comes with two batteries. I've got the winch cable right there. I've got the bed remote right there. Your motor and your uh, your reservoir tank. Um, <clears throat> nothing special. I believe I do have. This is the uh, I believe the, the power inverter to plug it in so I can charge the batteries. Over here is where they put the. Uh, the tester to see how much battery you have. So as you can see, the sun's glaring at it, but I am fully charged right now. So far, so good. I have yet to have to uh, charge the batteries. Um, and I've used it for a couple weeks so far. So that's it with a toolbox. Uh, like I said, it came with one strut, and then this one's broken off. Uh, they still owe me a second strut, but I ended up just removing this one. Uh, I'd rather have the door open all the way like that and hooked on. It's a little more solid. Again, your drop legs, your, uh, you know, to lift it up and down, your handle. Um, it's got your safety chains here for your dumpsters, one on each side so you can hook it up. We're going to go up here just so you can see. It does have pretty good speed. And it is a power down. It's not like a uh, gravity down like the dump trailers that I have. So it does power it down as well. Okay, so it comes with some good ride ST23580 16 tires. Um, I don't, it says load range E. Um, you guys tell me in the comments. Let me know how good those are um, and if I should be upgrading very soon to some better quality tires. Uh, good ride. I don't know. I, is it a knockoff of Goodyear? I have no idea. 
But I know usually these manufacturers don't put any quality tires usually from the from the factory, so I might have to upgrade those pretty soon. Um, so you've got your cable hook over here. Okay, your rollers, which you know rolls pretty freely on both sides. Uh, two seven thousand pound axles. It comes with your guide. These are not standard rails. These are like um, uh, similar to PJ trailers is my understanding. Uh, these are not your standard size. Uh, so it does have a little guide here to kind of guide your dumpster in if you don't have it perfectly lined up, uh, which they do bend. I've had this already bent back on both sides by Lone Star or by uh, Nationwide Trailers already once. So LED lighting around, all the way around. I do like the lighting, the recessed lighting works just well and that's basically going to be it with your standard uh stuff again your safety chains your lock bar for your dumpster here this is where you slide your dumpster in it's got uh, two little bar uh, one bar that goes across the front and you just kind of lock it into place for safety reasons and then you add the additional chain on there so you've got the chain the lock as well as the uh the wedge hook that's going to come out. so sorry for the wind guys hopefully you guys are catching my audio but uh that's it for the uh the regular stuff um again the standard stuff uh some small things that i've added to it uh first and foremost is going to be the most obvious which is my tarp i did do a 1500 hundred dollar upgraded tarp system on here i didn't want to have to hand tarp each individual dumpster or even add a 300 hundred dollar upgraded tarp on each individual dumpster so i decided to go with the uh trailer tarp uh, one thing to note on these is that they are adjustable so that uh, it's it works for a 20 yard you extend the arms out uh, and then you get the smaller dumpsters the three foot or four foot wall dumpsters because uh, the 20 yard is 14 feet by six foot walls and the uh, smaller dumpsters are 14 foot by four foot walls so um, you know with the adjustable arms you can adjust it to go uh, higher and lower based on what uh, dumpster you have on there. You just got to uh, loosen up the little bolts right here on both sides and then you slide it up and down, which is not too hard to do. Um, so that's first and foremost. Uh, I did have to take it back. Lone Star did have to do uh, fix this for me. They didn't have, when they first installed it, uh, the handle wasn't uh, properly grabbing the, um, the teeth of this gear right here. So what happened was uh, during while I was driving on the freeway, it loosened up and the tarp went flying uh, over the back and bent up my arms and I lost my handle. It snapped this little screw in here. I mean, just did a bunch of damage. Uh, could have been a lot worse, but uh, luckily and thankfully, um, Nationwide Trailers hooked it up. They fixed it for free. Uh, it was a, a bad install, I guess, but uh, they did honor it and, and fix it without without any questions. So. Um, so far, this this new this uh, new angle that they put it at, and this little bolt that they put here to hold it in place, uh, has been has worked out perfectly, uh, perfectly. So I'm really happy for that. The second upgrade that I did is I did install this camera right here. Uh, as of right now, I did install it directly to the battery, which I know I probably shouldn't, but it hasn't really drained anything. It's just a small camera, uh, but it allows me to. Uh, with the bed down to back up to a dumpster uh, and be able to see a lot better. With the gooseneck, uh, it's really hard to see out the back window. So uh, with that being said, uh, I turn the camera on, I keep the, uh, the bed down, and I back up right to the dumpster. I had um, an issue. So I have a video, and I'll, I'll, I'll play it right now, of what this was before. So basically there was two little guides that would come out so that when you line up the dumpster and you pull it all the way up on the back of the dumpsters, there's these hooks that go under and around the guide to kind of slide in. I was told by, by Nationwide that those guides are normally cut off by 90% of his customers and I know exactly why. To be honest with you, I believe it's a really bad uh, design flaw from Lone Star. Uh, Lone Star, if you guys are watching this, um, those don't work. And let me tell you why. What happens is when you are at the landfill or you're at your transfer station um, and you, first of all, 
with the dumpsters overhanging the trailer uh, and the wheels sitting lower, what happens is when I go to unload my uh, dumpster, the bed of the trailer doesn't go up high enough at an angle to where everything slides out easily like they do in the dump trailers. Um, it, it can go all the way up, but the problem is the back of the dumpster touches the ground. Okay, and what happens is the back of the dumpster touches the ground you continue to try and get go up and get a good angle on the dumpster and what it does is it pulls these little tabs up bends them up and either snaps them off or totally screws up uh your your the bottom of your dumpster to the, the floor so when you go to slide it out the next time you've got a tab that's sticking all the way up or when you go to try to load one up and the tab's not level you're literally ripping the floor uh the floorboards off of the bottom of the dumpster so i think that's a super bad design flaw i don't think those things are uh, uh number one i don't think they're they're well they might be needed uh it might i don't know i don't know what the purpose is whether it's like maybe for a rollover the dumpster doesn't go off um or uh maybe just to let you know that you actually slid in and locked into place i don't know but uh but with the with a dumpster overhanging the end of the trailer and not getting a really good angle on the dump on the uh, on the dump to throw your trash out, it makes it super hard to throw your trash out. Um, so, especially if it's like wet drywall, which is all I've been dealing with the last couple of weeks because of all the over the flooding that we've had here from the winter storm in Texas. So, uh, you know, normally I would like to get a really good dump angle um, so I can dump everything out. But again, those did not allow me to do so. Um, so I did have, uh, nationwide trailers cut them off and they covered them up for me. Uh, and they did a pretty good job on that. This was all bent in. It was all jacked up. So, uh, thank you nationwide for taking care of that for me. Um, and then again, they did, uh, they did straighten these out right here. What happens with these is, um, when these tabs were in the way, I would get the wheels stuck between the tab and the rail here. And then the winch would be pulling it up and would it would catch right here on this side of the dumpster and it would, it would literally bend this out so again design flaw in my opinion lone star if you're watching this uh either make the trailer a little bit longer get rid of those tabs or uh i don't know what to do with that but maybe maybe i'm wrong and you can explain to me what real purpose is of those and and how do you avoid um breaking them off like i did in my first week with it uh, other than that, the motor is very strong, the winch is very strong, uh, the batteries work very well. I, like I said, I haven't had to charge my batteries at all yet, uh, and I'm still at a full charge. I do need a remote. I absolutely need a remote to hook this up every time. Um, let me bring it down. So to hook this up every single time, uh, to me, is... Uh, time consuming and to say the least if you had a remote uh, I would love the remote option I know super winch does provide one but again you go on their website and they say sold out so uh, apparently I can't get one uh, if anybody knows how I can how I can get my hands on one let me know but uh, but you know there's your winch so that's basically it, guys. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. This is my review. I am not getting paid by Lone Star to make a review. Um, this is solely my review and, uh, and based on my opinions only. So any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me on how better to run this trailer um, or <laughs> what I should have done with those tabs, uh, let me know. Uh, but all in all, I give this trailer a 8 out of 10. Uh, I am impressed with the durability so far. Um, I just wish it had a couple more features. Uh, but I will be adding stuff on there myself. I really think these cameras or these, these manufacturers should come with a backup camera. Uh, I mean, with again, with a gooseneck, it makes it so hard to see outside the back window. Uh, almost impossible. So uh, a rear view wireless backup camera is uh, very important. But uh, so far, so good. It drives good down the road. Uh, the brakes are quality. Um, yeah.
I mean, it's it's not rocket science. It's a, a very solid trailer. So, again, any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I bought this trailer at Nationwide Trailers. I bought this trailer and three bin package for, I believe, right around $25,000. Um, so, and that's including the $1,500 upgrade on the tarp with the tarp included. So, uh, again, Josh with American AF Dumpsters here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, please make sure you give me a like, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new videos, guys. We'll see you on the next one.